Okay, let's say that you want to download Happy Fire and create or run your own Fire server locally on your computer. Um, after reading some uh, tutorials and demos on YouTube, um, I found a way to do this. And two ways that are suggested is to use a docker image because it's easier but sometimes the docker image is different or has a different environment than the one that you want to use in production and the other way is using jetty an embedded jetty server and again, if your production environment is different than that, uh, and in my case it is, I want to use Tomcat. I also want my test environment to be as close as my production environment. So what I need to do is I want to download Fire, create a simple Happy Fire server and deploy that locally in my machine without Docker, without Jetty, but in Tomcat server. Yeah. And you might find uh, these issues too, if you want to, to do this, to, to make this work, um, you will find these issues. Uh, the first issue is that I work mainly with Java 11. So if you come here this is the happy fire um, repository um, you can see here there are a lot of um, small modules for the happy fire um, you might not find here really as a working servers or, or code that you can use to just run a server you need to create the server yourself I found another repository that is mentioned on several tutorials that has a test server created for you. So you can just compile that and it will create a, a server for you. So this one works very well. And if you go to the pom file, you will find the first thing is that this will compile only on Java 17. Yeah, so you will get an error if you want to compile this on Java 11 or, you know, an, a version lower than 17, you will get something like this. So what you need to do is to be sure that you are using the um, JDK 17 at least. Yeah, that is the first thing. The second thing, we need to choose a version for Tomcat. Uh, I generally use Tomcat 9 in most of my servers and applications because that is compatible with an, all other frameworks that I use. And the, when the compilation went correctly and I, this, the compilation generates a WAR file that I can just deploy. When I was copying the WAR file into my Tomcat 9, it didn't work, it didn't deploy, it didn't display anything. So coming to the Tomcat dependencies, you can see that uh, Tomcat 9 works with Java 8 and later. So it should work with Java 17, right? But it doesn't. Uh, so you need to actually download this version of Tomcat. Yeah, and you can see the version is kind of not uh, stable right now. It's an alpha. It works, yeah, locally it works, but I'm not sure I will trust that for a production environment. So we might need to wait for um, Tomcat to release, you know, a stable um, version. Or another way is to try to downgrade this to Java 11 and try to use maybe Tomcat 10 that is stable right now and there are many revisions and versions and in the 10.x branch um, but you might find that other dependencies also need Java 17 
yeah so messing with that might work or not and you might need to do a lot of downgrading yeah for a fast quick you know testing that path might not work uh so i will just suggest just to download this version of uh, tomcat then you will find that uh, the compilation of this project generates a word file um, and when you copy that word file is um, something like uh, happy if i start this red server skeleton.war and you try to deploy that or even if, if you rename that to just fire.war and you deploy that that will try to deploy to the path uh, slash fire or slash the name of your word file and that doesn't work because there are some paths also defined here there is a configuration file somewhere in here I think it's this one that requires this project to or the application to run on the root uh, path so act you actually need to rename your word file to root in uppercase dot word and deploy that and that will override the default uh, Tomcat application the root application that is actually the the Tomcat manager yeah but if you do that it will work yeah. um, if I don't do that I actually see a web application yeah that is the same web application that you see here that is called the overlay I will show you that and the overlay is a small project that you can use in your project to display this um, web interface so you can see all the uh, resources that are supported in your server uh, you can um, execute some server actions like getting the conformance and you can see inside each resource uh, all the operations that you you have there uh, supported yeah so the overlay is here uh, is this module and it has just this web application that is i think a spring boot application that goes or deploys with your server um and i think when i deploy the work without naming the word to root dot uh, the overlay worked but i didn't see any resource here and when i tried to execute for instance the um server actions like conformance it didn't find the server yeah and the server should be under the path slash fire yeah it didn't find the server so i needed to rename that to root.war and that that worked really i see the overlay and i was able to see the resources and also to execute server actions yeah that worked and if you go back here you can actually see that this project comes with some pre-configured stuff this is the server so in the initializer you can see that there are a couple of providers there is a patient resource provider and an organization resource provider and when you load that application um, you see the overlay and here you see those two resources yeah so that uh, actually worked and if you want to extend your server you can here add your providers the providers is the code that is in charge of providing operations for your resource types and in general there is one provider for each resource type here we have just two resource types um, if we go back to provider you will see that there are two providers there you can see the patient resource provider and this implements this interface all the providers should implement that interface and this has some operations like 
create patient, find patient. This is a search, uh, another search. Yeah. And this, um, you know, this is a search because you have those annotations. Uh, you have a read operation here and you have an update. Yeah. But this is a pretty, uh, simple server example code. Um, you can, instead of having this in code, you can actually create code here to interact with, with your database or files or whatever. So this is kind of acting as a facade. Um, Happy Fire uh, can run in different ways. So this is a great uh, repository to have a small server uh, all configured and running. Yeah, but you need to be sure that those things that I mentioned before are uh, correct. Here also you configure which version of fire you will use the fire structures. So this is using release five, you can use release four, etc. Um, and here it is configured the, um, the URL for your, uh, fire server. Yeah. If you go to, you know, to production or to a different server, you need to add maybe the IP address here or your domain here. Yeah. Uh, so be sure that you have Java 17 when you compile this, when you build this project, that you have Tomcat 11 and that you name your word file before deploying as root.word and that will work fine. Yeah. If you have any questions, just, uh, let me know what I will try next is to try to run the server without the overlay. I don't want this user interface because I want to just run the fire server and try to make all the interactions uh, through the API instead of interacting uh, through the web. Yeah, so trying to make, again, an environment that is as similar as production as possible, but locally for testing purposes. Yeah, thank you.